Hey everybody, so I'm excited to show you the new broom today right here. Got the championship bracket action going on right now from the Rocktober Spiel here at McCall Curling Club. Awesome club, awesome facility. Uh, we tied for third, so we're not playing right now. Uh, but hey, I want to show you guys this broom. So end game, new to the curling game, is a brand new broom that just came out. And actually, just a few days ago, received WCF uh, approval. So you're going to now see this broom on the pro level. And, uh, and all over the world. It's really exciting stuff. So I want to show you guys a couple of features and give you a little bit of a review of how it was for us. First thing, total carbon fiber, um, really light. In fact, this broom weighs in at the exact same weight as the Hardline Ice Pad and uh, about 10 grams lighter than the Goldline carbon fiber. So uh, really light broom, good to the touch. If you see here, it's got a really good carbon fiber look. Uh, this is the orange color, but it's kind of a cool burnt orange. And then like a lot of you guys that like the hardline broom, you can see this has the same no slip texture to it. You can see this kind of film here. So it's really tacky. You're not gonna slide your hand. Uh, it's gonna be a real effective broom. A couple other super cool features I wanna show you guys. One is you have an adjustable um, screw here that adjusts the tension here on the bearing. So what this does is this allows you to actually tighten the level of play between your head and the broom. Um, a lot of you guys like this. Some of you like it a little bit looser, some like it stiffer. So again, you just tighten that with a screwdriver. In terms of the head itself, kind of looks like something out of Halo. Super cool, a um, little futuristic, and um, strong molded plastic, uh, good for sliding on. And then I tell you what, on the broom head, my helper, Emma, you wanna come over here? I wanna show you guys something really neat. When you compare the size of the broom head, you're looking at about almost 20% more surface area for sweeping. So for you guys that are power sweepers, this is gonna more than likely have a lot of an advantage on sweeping efficiency. Um, similar fabric, synthetic fabric with a little bit of texture. Uh, Endgame just added WCF uh, broom covers. So for those of you uh, curling in the WCF events, you can find those on the website as well. So. Hey, from my standpoint, uh, it was a lot of fun playing with the broom this weekend. Uh, the good and bad, uh, or good and, good and helpful things. One, if you are a side delivery person out to here, there's a really cool, what I call snap and lock feature. This actually snaps into place, you can hear it. And when this does, this completely locks your broom head in stable-wise on the ice as you do your delivery. For me, I deliver broom flat on the ice, so, the angle is not there like I use on my hardline broom. So this is actually one that I won't use for delivery. For sweeping though, I love it. It's really good broom. Um, sweeping wise, I did see it was nice. When you think about the fact that a sliding band on a stone is that wide, you're able to really minimize the amount of reps and still cover the same amount of surface area. So huge shout out to Croy. Thanks for the broom donation here to the, uh, to the bond spiel. And uh, guys, make sure you check out Endgame. Brand new broom, support a new club, and we'll see you guys out on the ice. Take care.